video, this time working in my whimsy notebook journal and trying to create another whimsical house. Now this one, for some reason, was hard. And that's not what I set out for this journal to be. Um, this was just a journal to play in, to stretch my imagination, to use products that I normally wouldn't use, to stretch the ability to be able to draw, because <laughs> I can't. And But given that it's a whimsy page, anything goes. There are no rules. The easier, the better. And so I think, well, I'm hoping that the more pages like this that I do, the freer I will become in my normal journal pages. It's not happening yet, but I'm hoping it will happen. Um, and you learn so much about colour, composition, uh, what colours go with what, what works, what doesn't. And pretty much giving yourself free reign to not have any labels put on yourself. You know, oh, I can't draw, I can't shade, I can't choose colours, I can't, I can't, I can't. And that's how I... I tr that's what I try to avoid in my normal journals and doing these whimsy pages I think is helping I hope it's helping it's got to help because I've got to push myself now if I just sat down here and did it and not uploaded it so you guys could see it I feel that I would be cheating myself of the chance to improve. So that's why they're up here. Yeah, they're not masterpieces. Um, kids could probably paint better. But I'm hoping that I'm pushing myself and that I'm learning from the process. So having said that, <laughs> everything on this that I've used so far has been put up on the screen there for you to see and I did draw the elements using an ink tense pencil because it can be wiped off and then going in with the paints and trying to shade it here and it wasn't working but I it ended up okay just okay but <laughs> that's okay I just want to be able to try and construct a page without too much thinking and have fun with it and I'm sh I'm pretty sure that that's helping me being able to do these pages So it's going to be interesting at the end of this notebook journal, once they're all finished. This is only the sixth page that I've done. And I have, I think, four signatures. No, currently I only have two signatures, but I may add more depending on how thick it, the journal becomes. Um, I think there's eight double pages which is front and back and I'm only using one page um, per spread so what's that two four six eight four it's 32 pages so number six I've got a way to go so under the sky now um, Pretty much I'm just painting and trying to add a bit of detail and to make it look interesting and a bit different. 
however my trees are still the same as when I first started out so I've got to try and change those give them some sort of different shape character something so I'm going to just put on some music and let you just watch the process I'll be back soon
So just, I um, just wanted to explain why I'm using the white pens. Well, obviously just for a design, um, but then in a moment I'm going to be using them as a, a primer so that the colours that I put on top of it appear to be the correct colour and are not um, dulled by the background colour. So I'm just drawing some flowers over the green grass. So if I tried to paint it yellow over the top of the green, it would not have come out yellow. So that's why, and the easiest way, instead of just drawing them and using gesso, well, the easiest way was to use a Posca paint pen. So, and that's all I did for there. So, back to the music.
Okay, just trying to finish up on the shading using up the remainder of the paint on my craft mat there. And not too happy with the sky, it just looks very blotchy, but it is what it is. And I use the Zig Clean Color Real brushes to add the shading because it was so much easier to use those than using the paint. And I think by outlining everything made it a lot more defined and all the elements there more defined. So I just using up a bit of the leftover paint there and dry brushing dry brushing on some of the bluish colour there to the clouds so that they're not so stark. And now we need some stickles. Uh, turquoise, one of my favourite colours, just for the outline of the clouds. Looks pretty. So really at this point I just add detail until I think well that's enough or I've gone too far. So now one of my favourite techniques is to add um, some flowers by using a, um, a stylus and some shimmer paint. So I'm using Lumiere paint today because I thought it needed a bit more white. And this is a pearl white. And then I think I go too far after I add the flowers and you'll see what I mean. And then I stuff that up and you can, well it looks as if the sun's shining on it and it's casting a glimmery shadow. Well, anything goes, I guess. just trying to think what else I can do. So I uh, attempt to add a sun with sun rays using the stylus and the same pearl white um, Lumiere paint. It's not as subtle as I'd hoped but it's there and it is what it is so and yeah I went off tilt with the um, that ray there on the right it just wasn't in line with the Sun but anyway that's it another whimsy house page done and I'll be back with more soon bye guys mm -hmm.